guys, welcome to the Rubber Room. It's me, Chris Cowie. Um, Wednesday, I go live here. Yeah, usually six o'clock. I am a little bit early this time around because um, I have uh, my brother is here and he's working to redo our bathroom. So we have some things planned for later. And um, so I needed to come on a little bit earlier tonight. So Hopefully you'll be able to catch me live, and if not, you can easily catch the replay. I am going to continue sharing with you um, some of the celebration cards that we did at my celebration event um, last weekend. Weekend before last now, probably. So this one is with the Stylish Sketches stamp set. So when you came to class, you got this little packet holding all of the materials for your car. So this is a five and a half by eight and a half piece of Sahara sand cardstock. We scored the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter. I'm just going to bring in my bone folder and burnish that. And I'm going to check and make sure I'm in the right spot. Our card's actually going to go this way. Let me see. Hey, Lori and Sherry. Thanks for watching, ladies. Um, I can there we go. Okay. Looks like I'm in there. So this is a piece of mm, the chic uh designer series paper. It's kind of cool with those little gold pieces to it. So I think I'll use that side. And my original card, I used this side. So let's flip it over and see what it looks like. I Actually, I think I'm gonna do it that way just because I wanna use this card. So I am going to start off by attaching this piece of cardstock to it. Well, I'm not. I'm gonna stamp on this piece of cardstock first before I attach it. And I'm going to stamp on it first so that if I don't get it straight or I miss a little bit of it, I can always turn my piece of cardstock over. And this is a photopolymer stamp set. And again, it's, um, there we go. And then I'm going to take my ducks and I'm going to stamp my ducks on this circle. This is a die cut circle with the stylish shapes die cuts. I'm just going to stamp my two little ducks right in the middle of it. And Sherry is actually the one who inspired this car. She gave a one similar to this to me as a, I believe it was a swap card. And I liked it, but I didn't have the designer series paper, so I swapped that out and swapped some colors out and kind of made it my own from her design. So I'm going to put this stamped piece on first, just so that if it's a little bit too big, I can trim my paper, where if I have already attached it, it's kind of hard to trim. So I'm just going to do that and then use some, some Stampin' Seal on the back. This is a really quick and easy card to do. And I'm just gonna put my designer series paper on there. And then I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Blends. And I have Light Soft Succulent. I think this one is Dark Pumpkin Pie. And then the Light and the Dark Crumb Cake. And you can use any color blends that you want. Our blends come in a light and dark, so they're a two pack. And you can kind of make it your own by whatever color. They have a brush tip and then a blunt tip. And I am gonna use my blunt tip and just kind of color that duck's neck and then his head. And the male, almost all species the male is more colorful than the female so I'm gonna kind of color his head to give him that more colorful look and I use again the blunt tip 
of my blends and do the feet and the beaks. And then I actually want to come back. No, I'm not. I'm going to do my dark crumb cake and do kind of, oops, I want the, the blunt tip of this one and kind of color that grass. And you can do that in the green if you prefer, but I'm just going to use a little bit of the crumb cake in there. And then I'm going to come in with my light crumb cake. And I'm going to use the blunt tip. I almost always use my blunt tip. The only thing I ever really use my um, brush tip for is something that is uh, like when I'm flicking and I want, which is I put my blunt tip inside the cap of the blends and just kind of flick color off my blend and onto my card in kind of a spattered look. And that truly is about the only thing that I use because I like to feel like I have a little more control with it. And that blunt tip gives me that feeling. There we go. And now I'm gonna come in with my dark crumb cake and again I'm going to use my blunt tip and I'm just going to give it a little bit of shading in here and that's just going to give it a little more texture and dimension and the coloring goes very very quickly on these and then I'm going to use some dimensionals and pop it up. Dig through here and get my dimensionals. My things kind of spattered around. I was just finishing um, my prepping for my card class this weekend. I actually am going to do three classes, and I've shared those with you guys before. And then in September, I'm going to be doing lots of things in September. Actually, it's my last push to gather enough points to earn the Norwegian cruise, which is our incentive trip this year. And I need lots more points still. So I will be doing some extra classes in um, September to try and make up for that. See if I can get my sales boosted up there. So be sure and watch my calendar and make some plans to join a class with me or make a purchase with me. This month when you make a minimum $35 purchase, I am gonna send you a little surprise tutorial packet. And if it, your order goes to $50, I will give you a little surprise, snail mail surprise. Okay, how about that? Oh, and my accessories are the Iridescent Pearls Basic Jewels. So you can kind of see they have that iridescent kind of shiny look to them, which I think is really fun. So there's our first card. And again, stylish sketches free with a minimum $50 purchase before the end of this month. So you have to do that before the end of August. Celebration is going to end in August. So you want to be sure and get it in before that. And... Let's see, Kay's here, Marielle's here, Debbie's here. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. It's so fun to see everybody. And not see you, but know that you're here watching me and see your comments. So this one is gonna be one from the Tree Lot dies. And Nancy packed this one up. She was my helper for this class. And so she did all of the die cutting and helped me put this one together. Ooh, look at all those goodies that came flooding out of there. Let's start with this piece. This piece is gonna go on the inside of our card. So our card base is real red, and it is five and a half by eight and a half, and scored on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter, 
And then I'm just gonna burnish on my score line. And add this piece of white to the inside of it. All right. And then this piece of paper is five and a quarter by four. And you can see it's embossed on the top and it has like these maybe big snow mountains with some snowflakes coming down. That is one of my favorite new embossing folders. Okay, and I'm just gonna pop this one down and I'm just using um, Stampin' Steel for this. I don't know if you guys can hear that water. My brother's putting it in it. We're remodeling our bathroom for us. And um, so he had to take that toilet out to put a new floor in. So it must be time for him to put the toilet back. Because <laughs> I hear a lot of water running up there. Okay, so then we have two trees and they have these are all die cut pieces and they are all die cut from the tree lot dies one of the extra classes i'm going to be having in september is an advanced tree lot die class so i'm going to be doing an advanced class we're going to be using um, this set of dies and we're going to be making a sampler a goodie box and a bag so if you are interested in that class, I have posted the sign-up sheet with all the information. Let's see if I can get this glue going here. And you will get a little goodie bag with that class that will include some paper and some twine some things that you'll need in order to make your projects throughout the day. All right, so there's some glue on that. And I'm just taking the kind of outline die and putting it right on top of my tree. And when you're using that glue, you can easily slide your uh, die around before it gets really set in there. So you get a good chance to have it layered up exactly where you want it. And you don't have to glue the whole thing. I'm just kind of trying to hit the major edges. Like the little ends of the little boughs. And this adds like a little extra layer that will make it look more like snow on there. And you can see how perfectly it lines up too, which I think is really cool. And then I'm just gonna come in and use one of my favorite accessories, which is the Wink of Stella. And so I'm just gonna come in and do that Wink of Stella right over the, the outline part that looks more like snow. And that'll give it just a glisten. Now you could use the puffy paint for this, puffy snow paint for this if you wanted to, which would look really nice also. I actually have not tried that one yet. I'm starting my Christmas card classes in September. And so that will be one of the things that we use during our Christmas card class. And that actually is gonna be a series of four classes so there's dates in September, October, November, and December. You can sign up for all of them, or you can sign up just as you go along each month. And um, if you sign up for all of them, all four of them, they'll run through that first week in December. And I'm gonna be doing a kind of afternoon class from one to four, and then an evening class from six to nine okay so there's our second one that's the tree so you can kind of do whatever um, works out for your schedule so then we have this great camping one and I've cut the top part and the bottom part and that's a die that cuts and embosses also so you can see those little ridges that it embossed on there yeah and I'm just gonna use some stamp and seal for that and it's gonna 
go right on the top. This actually, I believe, goes on the bottom, and that is the door. Okay, and then this one's gonna go for that rounded piece at the top. There we go. And then you're going to put this little wreath right around that circle on the door. How cool is that? This little tiny bow is like super cool. I think that's like the perfect little thing. These pieces are really tiny though. So you do need to use your um, glue. Your multi-purpose glue is the best thing to, that I've found to use in here. I'm just gonna put little dabs. Oh, my glue is like, everyone I have is running out. <laughs> Hmm, let's see here. That one feels really like, oh, here's a good one. Here's a good one, it's nice and heavy. So I'm just gonna put little dabs of glue on here and then a little tiny one right in the middle and the edges of my bow. Okay. So those will come in next. And it's just gonna go right on the door. And then I think on the top. And you can put your bow wherever you want. It can go on the side. You can tie a ribbon bow. We have lots of possibilities with this. And this is gonna be my window piece. And I'm gonna kind of stick that back in there. But I'm gonna put my glue up here. Let me see how I want to do that. First, I'm going to go ahead and put my card, um, my card together, and then decide how I want to do that. Because I want to pop my camper up, and I'm not sure yet if I want to pop my window up or not. So I'm going to make that decision in a minute. And I'm just going to cut a little trim off here, so I have about a half of a dimensional to go in here and another half I think right there and if you're a fan of the mini glue dot or the mini dimensionals you can feel free to use those I did not bring them over here with me like I said today was just like a all-day work day and so I was finishing up some things and using them in a different spot so I just will cut these and pretend they're mini glue dots <laughs> Oh, and I'm gonna put my words on here before I put my other pieces on and I'm gonna stamp Christmas greetings on here. Just gonna ink it really lightly and go for it. There we go. All right. And that will give me a good indication of where I actually wanna put my little camper. So I'm going to put it about right here. And then I am going to sink down my little window and my curtain for it. I debated it a long time on whether or not to color my curtain. Give it like a little red curtain to it. Or maybe even some designer series paper on it. But... I decided in the end to just stick with it being monochromatic. Got a little bit of glue back there. Let me see if I can get rid of that because that part will drive me crazy. Hmm. I can't tell if I'm making it better or worse. Oh, there we go. Better. Definitely better. Okay. So this is my little die cut for my draperies. And I'm, again, I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue on there. This one, this is tree lac dies, comes with oh, the cutest little dies. It, it isn't available anymore, so I do hope that you guys got it as one of the earlier um, celebration picks that you could make because it is so cute. So I'm just going to put my curtain in there like that. And I'm going to take my taller tree. 
and put it down over here by my words. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals behind my shorter, wider tree. And again, I'm just going to cut one of these in half that are on the edge. And then put that up towards the top. So my little tree will be popped up. Now you can go in and add a little bit of um, Wink of Stella to your snowflakes that are coming down if you want to. You can really dress it up, pop it up. Um, but I'm just going to add some of the iridescent rhinestones again. This is one of the things that um, they got when they came to class. So we were using them on most of the projects. When you come to class that includes product, we always try and use that product during the class. So here we go. That's our second one. And you can kind of see the difference between popping that window up with the curtain or having it go down with the curtain. And either way, it is really cute. And you can see this one doesn't have um, no Wink of Stella on the trees. And then this one has the Wink of Stella, so you get a little bit of that sparkle to it. All right, let me see if anybody has any questions here. Before I sign off, Kathy Moore, thanks for watching. Jacqueline and Patricia, I'm so glad that you're here. And Monica, it's good to see you. I got my kits in the, my card kits in the mail um, yesterday. Thank you so much. I can't wait to wait to start putting them together. Kay is here. Thank you. Um, Jacqueline's making cards with these dies too. I can't wait to see them, Jackie. Okay, so these are um, the tree light dies. And this one is the Stylish Shapes dies. And I still have um, one more video I'm going to do before I leave. Uh, next Wednesday, I am leaving to go to New Orleans for some Stampin' Up! training for Silver Elite demonstrators and above. I'm going to see Monica there. I'm really excited about it. Um, so before I leave, I will pop on here and share two more celebration cards with you. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Have a wonderful afternoon and evening. Bye-bye.